welcome this is my first attempt at making a youtube video by myself on my macbook i am joydeep datta a professor at the indian institute of technology kanpur in the department of economic sciences though trained as a mathematician and was also the professor was also teaching in mathematics here we are in unprecedented times we are in very difficult times but one good thing is that we are all home as a result we possibly slightly restless trying to do this that whatever one thinks as a mathematics uh, faculty i had largely concentrated on trying to learn the subjects my area of research optimization and do research and also teach at iit kanpur the requirements that i have but you know the there's a vast amount of brilliant students of science and engineering economics teeming around in india maybe it's good idea to exchange something with them in this uh, period of been and at home can be made productive so i thought why don't make a youtube channel try to talk about certain things to the students but it need not be kind of a very high tech teaching with graphics or anything it could be a very friendly informal way of talking about mathematics writing on the paper and showing you okay see this and this is how the things are done what i want to do is discuss with you two important subjects one is linear algebra and one is optimization and their applications to data science machine learning if you want to say and that's what has taken the center stage that that is what is attracting people now i am not here to do a course of linear algebra in detail if i try to do that would be been foolish everybody would see gilbert strang's wonderful lectures on the mit open courseware which i am also a big fan of i would rather take up certain concepts and talk about them discuss them the ideas behind them but you would really see that sometimes my approach would not be the standard textbook or the standard textbook approach it is because possibly i uh, somewhere in my mind i don't know how much mathematics i understand or no but i know that i love the subject and that possibly pushes me to do something so this is a, a kind of social service i would be doing and i hope you would go along with me i really have to admit that uh, i've used a lot of linear algebra at my work and i would not be just telling extempore things which i can say but i would take certain topics from very well known sources and my favorite source in linear algebra is a book called linear algebra by gilbert strang gilbert strang of course is one of the greatest exponents of linear algebra in the world greatest ex his exposition of linear algebra is marvelous so whenever i have gone through this book i have found that many many things which are not discussed in an ordinary linear algebra text is discussed here for example when we multiply two matrices what we do is you take the row of a matrix and take the column of another matrix take the dot product and put the ith row of a matrix jth column of the other matrix take the dot product and put it as the cij or the ij value of the product that's exactly what you do but can you multiply a column by a row and form rank one matrices and add them and get the same result the answer is yes but this column row approach is hardly touched upon in usual linear pro linear algebra books as a result a lot of interesting thing is missed out but in data sciences this is very very important and that has been so beautifully told in this book linear algebra 
and learning from data this is also by gilbert and these are two of my favorite books and i will take certain topics from them and try to discuss them maybe i'll take a problem from them and discuss a problem but let me tell you that taking from a book is not plagiarism in any course on any subject you always take from a book with there is a course book a textbook a course textbook followed by some reference so we largely follow the book and then take certain materials from the references but here i'll be extremely clear when i which part i take from which book what are the page numbers of these books and how do i approach them my approach will not, will not be verbatim my approach will be slightly different approach will be my own approach certain things would be discussed exactly from the book trying to explain you how in a much more detailed way i will not do a lot of things suddenly these are not one hour lectures maybe these are just 20 25 minutes lectures just discussing a simple topic and giving you the references so let me again tell you this is the famous book of gilbert strang in the fifth edition published by wellesley cambridge press it's uh, in us professor gilbert strang is a professor at mit and this one also published by the same publisher wonderful book published in 2019 the other one in 2016 another book which is not known very much in india and hardly ever taught is this wonderful book anybody who is in mathematics will absolutely enjoy this book vectors pure and applied t w corner is a professor of fourier analysis at cambridge university and a wonderful expositor of mathematics i have read his several other books it's just i am a fan of gilbert strang i am a fan of professor corner's writing wonderfully written linear algebra book for its mathematicians delight um, i i cannot tell you how much i i enjoy this book i will take certain materials from here of course and there is a lot of things to learn in fact i would rather say that every young engineering student or math student should go and look at his calculus book another book which is doing the rounds is this one applied linear algebra with stephen boyd and van der broek stephen boyd and van der broek by the way are very famous for the book on convex optimization which you will be used also in this discussion so applied linear algebra has got to do a lot with machine learning things it is a lot of applications in many things with the least squares problem as the key thing around which the whole story revolves so i'll take several things and please understand i'll not go like a course one by one one by one one by one so it's like a random walk if you think that okay you are not understanding just forget the video if you take another video and later on you understand you enjoy the video you can write to me i am quite competent in making mistakes in writing printing errors and all those things do point out to me and i'll be delighted if you do so there is a beautiful book on optimization models and its algorithms and its application by Kala Fior and Lauren El Gawi. A lot of many of them are engineers. By the way, I want to tell you that many of the faculty members that you see, Stephen Boyd and Van der Berg, they are not mathematicians or these they are these are from electrical engineering. So a lot of engineers do write books on linear algebra and optimization. Of course, uh, you can say that uh, what is the level at which I'll be speaking? Largely, the level is undergraduate. it will start somewhere at the second year of an engineering stream go up to the fourth year or fifth year sometimes it might appear that it's slightly a graduate means a phd type work or a masters level type work but largely i would keep the thing simple tell you the sources where you can go and do the things my i am pretty a low tech guy mostly bothered about the theoretical aspects of the subject of course i'm bothered about the computational aspects of the subject but uh, i would rather say that uh, uh, you know a kind of uh, i i wouldn't be doing graphics i would take a paper write in it and show you and discuss with you 
mathematics can sometimes be discussed one to one i am doing a one to one discussion with you and that's what i really want please understand that we not continuously keep on doing the same things linear algebra optimization data science there must be some diversions right detours we will take some detours maybe an analysis maybe i'll ask you to solve an interesting integral and we can discuss about some how to compute some very funny looking integrals or maybe sometimes we will talk about some other aspects of mathematics maybe some little uh, result a uh, little proof a different way of proving something maybe a uh, different way of proving uh, that number of primes is infinite so uh, i hope as we go along in this journey my channel would be named joydeep datta is my name uh, you don't have some fancy name there are a lot of channels with interesting names and doing excellent um, job of explaining mathematics but here it's more or less a one to one discussion uh maybe if possible i'll try to do a live session where you can put questions and we can have an answer and i hope uh, this would grow and and i would remain fascinated while i do this my my fascination for doing this would also continue to grow and as we take the journey together so thank you uh, my videos this is an introductory video so it's a short one so compared to the ones which i'll speak about that would be 20 25 minutes because you know a concept of math in his certain time to be developed to be put forward so if you feel it's very low tech you can obviously dislike the video but uh, i will try to see how i can actually uh, improve the content i will take your suggestions in and i'll try to improve the content because now we are in the lockdown state and we are we're not getting out of home lot of things are in the office which can could have been done better at office so but doesn't matter this would anyway go on I man as i go forth i might just do a better work maybe i'll try to do something maybe i'll try to uh, do something here at the back write down something i will make an attempt but at this moment i do not promise anything but what i can do is something like this just give me a moment is like for example i take uh, this page and i say okay say i say okay i draw a line and say i'll talk about a vector v been represented by a coordinate so any vector v in two dimension is represented by two real numbers so then i show you this when i show you this and then i try to explain to you it is as if you are doing a kind of a one to one discussion with me so this is a more homely uh, channel very very simple even difficult things of mathematics if when gradually we will have still more complexities we will just keep on explaining things uh, maybe you would enjoy them maybe not but i hope i would be able to give you routes to several aspects of mathematics which you can take on your own and go on to apply them in data science and of course we'll speak about data science of course it's not that we'll just go and vanish off but it will be a long journey that we are going to make and the episode to gradually pile up thank you for tonight and have a productive evening thank you so much